From duration to eel and vital, a journey through Henri Bergson's philosophy and its relation to other schools of thought. Welcome to The Crux, the channel where we explore the complex and nuanced nature of human consciousness, and the limits of our attempts to understand it. From philosophy to psychology, from neuroscience to spirituality, we dive deep into the big questions that shape our lives and our understanding of the world around us. Today, we're going to be exploring the philosophy of Henri Bergson and its contrasts with other philosophical schools. The turn of the 20th century marked a pivotal moment in the history of philosophy. It was a time of great intellectual upheaval and innovation, as thinkers sought to challenge the dominant paradigms of the past and forge new paths forward. One of the most important figures of this period was Henri Bergson, a French philosopher who sought to revolutionize our understanding of time, consciousness, and the nature of reality itself. Bergson's philosophy stands in contrast to many of the dominant schools of thought that preceded it. For centuries, philosophers had emphasized the importance of reason, logic, and empirical evidence in gaining knowledge about the world. But Bergson rejected this approach, arguing that these methods were limited in their ability to capture the true nature of reality. Instead, Bergson emphasized the importance of intuition and direct experience in gaining knowledge. He argued that the world was not a static, unchanging entity, but rather a continuous flow of becoming and change. Time, for Bergson, was not a series of discrete moments, but rather a continuous and indivisible process of duration. Bergson's philosophy can be contrasted with several other philosophical schools of thought, each of which emphasizes different aspects of human experience and consciousness. Rationalism, for example, emphasizes reason and logic as the primary means of gaining knowledge. Empiricism, on the other hand, emphasizes the importance of sensory experience and empirical evidence. Existentialism focuses on the individual's search for meaning in a seemingly meaningless world, while phenomenology analyzes the structure of conscious experience. In the following sections, we will explore each of these philosophical schools in greater depth, contrasting them with Bergson's philosophy and exploring the similarities and differences between them. By doing so, we hope to gain a deeper understanding of Bergson's ideas and their place in the broader history of philosophy. Henri Bergson's philosophy is marked by his emphasis on intuition, creativity, and direct experience as means of gaining knowledge about the world. In contrast to other philosophers of his time who emphasized reason and empirical evidence, Bergson argued that these methods were limited in their ability to capture the true nature of reality. One of Bergson's key ideas was his notion of duration. For Bergson, Time was not a series of discrete moments or events, but rather a continuous and indivisible process. He argued that our experience of time is shaped by our subjective consciousness, and that time cannot be fully understood through the tools of reason and logic. Bergson also developed the concept of elan vital, or the vital force that animates all living things. According to Bergson, this force is what gives life its creative energy and dynamism, and it cannot be fully understood through the methods of science or reason. Another key aspect of Bergson's philosophy was his critique of intellectual knowledge. Bergson argued that the tools of reason and logic were limited in their ability to fully capture the complexity and richness of human experience. Instead, he emphasized the importance of intuition and direct experience in gaining a more complete understanding of the world. Bergson's philosophy represents a significant departure from the dominant schools of thought that preceded it. By emphasizing intuition, creativity, and direct experience, Bergson challenged traditional notions of knowledge and reality, paving the way for new and innovative approaches to philosophy and intellectual inquiry. Rationalism is a philosophical school that emphasizes reason and logical analysis as the primary means of gaining knowledge about the world. Rationalists argue that knowledge is based on innate ideas and logical deductions from these ideas, rather than sensory experience or empirical evidence. In contrast to rationalism, Henri Bergson's philosophy emphasizes intuition and direct experience as the primary means of gaining knowledge. Bergson argued that the world cannot be fully understood through the tools of reason and logic alone, and that intuition and direct experience were necessary to capture the true nature of reality. One of the key differences between Bergson's philosophy and rationalism is the emphasis on abstract thought. Rationalists argue that abstract concepts and logical deductions are necessary to gain knowledge about the world while Bergson believed that such concepts were limited in their ability to capture the richness and complexity of human experience. Bergson's philosophy emphasizes the importance of individual experience and subjective consciousness. He believed that human experience could not be reduced to logical deductions or abstract concepts, 
but must be understood through direct experience and intuition. Moreover, Bergson argued that the limitations of reason and logic could be seen in their inability to fully capture the nature of time. Rationalists often view time as a linear and static concept, while Bergson's philosophy emphasizes the dynamic and fluid nature of time. In contrast to rationalism, Bergson's philosophy emphasizes the importance of creativity, vitality, and intuition as means of gaining knowledge and understanding the world. By emphasizing the importance of subjective experience and direct intuition, Bergson challenged the traditional approaches to philosophy and opened up new avenues of intellectual inquiry. Empiricism is a philosophical school that emphasizes sensory experience as the basis of knowledge. Empiricists argue that knowledge is derived from sensory perceptions and empirical evidence, rather than abstract concepts or innate ideas. In contrast to empiricism, Henri Bergson's philosophy emphasizes intuition and creativity as the primary means of gaining knowledge. Bergson believed that the limitations of empirical evidence and sensory experience could be overcome by accessing the deeper truths of reality through intuition. Bergson's philosophy challenges the empiricist notion that knowledge can only be gained through sensory experience. He argued that there are aspects of reality that are beyond the reach of empirical evidence, and that intuition and creativity are necessary to access these deeper truths. Bergson's emphasis on intuition and creativity challenges the empiricist belief that knowledge is only based on what can be observed and measured. According to Bergson, the creative force of life cannot be reduced to empirical evidence or sensory experience, but must be understood through direct intuition. Moreover, Bergson's philosophy challenges the empiricist notion that knowledge can be gained through objective observation alone. He argued that the limitations of the observer must be taken into account when interpreting empirical evidence, and that intuition and creativity are necessary to gain a more complete understanding of the world. In contrast to empiricism, Bergson's philosophy emphasizes the importance of subjective experience and individual consciousness in gaining knowledge and understanding the world. By challenging the empiricist emphasis on sensory experience, Bergson opened up new avenues of intellectual inquiry and paved the way for new approaches to philosophy and intellectual thought. Existentialism is a philosophical school that emphasizes individual freedom and the creation of meaning in life. Existentialists argue that human beings are free to create their own meaning and purpose in life, rather than being determined by external forces. In contrast to existentialism, Henri Bergson's philosophy emphasizes the continuous flow of experience and the limits of human freedom. Bergson believed that human beings are not entirely free to create their own destiny, but are subject to the deeper rhythms of the universe. Bergson's philosophy challenges the existentialist emphasis on human agency by highlighting the limitations of human freedom. He argued that human beings are not entirely free to create their own meaning and purpose in life, but are subject to the larger rhythms of the universe. Moreover, Bergson's philosophy challenges the existentialist belief that human beings can create their own meaning and purpose in life. He argued that the deeper truths of existence are not created by human beings, but are discovered through intuition and direct experience. In contrast to existentialism, Bergson's philosophy emphasizes the importance of the continuous flow of experience and the dynamic nature of reality. He believed that the world is constantly evolving and changing, and that human beings are subject to these larger rhythms. Bergson's philosophy challenges the existentialist belief that human beings are entirely free to create their own destiny. He believed that human beings are subject to the deeper rhythms of the universe, and that true freedom can only be found through a deep understanding of these rhythms. While existentialism emphasizes human agency and the creation of meaning in life, Bergson's philosophy emphasizes the continuous flow of experience and the limits of human freedom. By challenging the existentialist emphasis on human agency, Bergson opens up new avenues of intellectual inquiry and provides a deeper understanding of the nature of human existence. Phenomenology is a philosophical school that focuses on the structure of conscious experience. It seeks to provide a precise analysis of experience, breaking it down into its constituent parts and examining how they relate to one another. In contrast to phenomenology, Henri Bergson's philosophy emphasizes intuition and the ineffable aspects of experience. Bergson believed that the deepest truths of existence cannot be analyzed or broken down into their constituent parts, but must be apprehended through direct experience and intuition. Bergson's philosophy challenges the phenomenological emphasis on precise analysis of experience by emphasizing the ineffable nature of experience. He argued that the most profound aspects of human experience are beyond the reach of precise analysis or conceptualization. 
Moreover, Bergson's emphasis on intuition challenges the phenomenological belief that experience can be broken down into its constituent parts and analyzed in a precise and systematic manner. He believed that the deepest truths of existence can only be apprehended through direct experience and intuition. In contrast to phenomenology, Bergson's philosophy emphasizes the importance of the ineffable aspects of experience and the role of intuition in apprehending these aspects. He believed that intuition is a fundamental aspect of human consciousness, allowing us to apprehend the deepest truths of existence that are beyond the reach of conceptual analysis. While phenomenology emphasizes the precise analysis of experience and the structure of consciousness, Bergson's philosophy emphasizes the ineffable aspects of experience and the role of intuition in apprehending these aspects. By challenging the phenomenological emphasis on precise analysis, Bergson offers a unique perspective on the nature of human consciousness and the deepest truths of existence. Analytic philosophy is a school of thought that emphasizes logical analysis and clarity of language. It seeks to provide precise definitions and logical rigor in the pursuit of philosophical truth. In contrast to analytic philosophy, Henri Bergson's philosophy emphasizes the use of metaphor and poetic language to express philosophical ideas. Bergson believed that language was a powerful tool for expressing ideas, but that it was limited in its ability to capture the full complexity of human experience. Bergson's emphasis on metaphor and poetic language challenges the analytic emphasis on precise definitions and logical rigor. He believed that the use of metaphor and poetic language was necessary to capture the ineffable aspects of experience and to express the deepest truths of existence. Moreover, Bergson's philosophy challenges the analytic belief that philosophical problems can be solved through logical analysis alone. He believed that the deepest philosophical problems cannot be solved through logical analysis, but must be approached through direct experience and intuition. In contrast to analytic philosophy, Bergson's philosophy emphasizes the importance of intuition and the ineffable aspects of experience. He believed that intuition was a fundamental aspect of human consciousness allowing us to apprehend the deepest truths of existence that cannot be captured through logical analysis alone. While analytic philosophy emphasizes logical analysis and clarity of language, Bergson's philosophy emphasizes the use of metaphor and poetic language to express philosophical ideas, and the importance of intuition and direct experience in apprehending the deepest truths of existence. By challenging the analytic emphasis on precise definitions and logical rigor, Bergson offers a unique perspective on the nature of human consciousness and the limits of philosophical inquiry. Throughout this paper, we have explored the philosophy of Henri Bergson and its contrasts with several other philosophical schools. We have seen that Bergson's emphasis on intuition, creativity, and direct experience challenges the rationalist emphasis on reason and logical analysis, the empiricist emphasis on empirical evidence, the existentialist emphasis on human agency, the phenomenological emphasis on precise analysis of experience, and the analytic emphasis on precise definitions and logical rigor. Despite these contrasts, there are also some similarities between Bergson's philosophy and the other schools. For example, Bergson's emphasis on direct experience and the ineffable aspects of experience shares some similarities with phenomenology while his emphasis on individual freedom and the creation of meaning in life shares some similarities with existentialism. The significance of these similarities and differences lies in the ways they can deepen our understanding of human consciousness and the limits of philosophical inquiry. Bergson's emphasis on intuition and direct experience highlights the importance of subjective experience in understanding the world, while his critiques of rationalism and empiricism challenge us to think more deeply about the nature of knowledge and its limits. Similarly, his ideas about the continuous flow of experience and the limits of human freedom remind us of the complex and nuanced nature of human existence, and the ways in which our attempts to understand it are inevitably shaped by our own perspectives and biases. Overall, further research and study of Bergson's philosophy and its relationships to other philosophical schools can help us deepen our understanding of the complex and nuanced nature of human consciousness and the limits of our attempts to understand it. By engaging with these ideas, we can gain a richer appreciation for the diversity and complexity of human experience, and the many ways in which we are all connected to each other and to the world around us. Thanks for joining me today on The Crux, where we explore the frontiers of human consciousness and the limits of our understanding. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into Henri Bergson's philosophy and its contrasts with other schools of thought. As always, feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts and questions, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode of The Crux. Until next time.